Hi there, we know how hard it is to drive engagement and conversions from emails. That's why we've built MailMoto, a complete email marketing platform with AMP email capabilities to help you get higher email marketing ROI. With MailMoto, you can create and send interactive emails with forms, calendars, carts, quizzes, and so many other widgets right inside them. This enables your users to take action inside email, leading to higher conversions. Today, I will show you how to create and send such interactive emails with MailMoto. First, let's start with an example. Here is an email created on MailMoto. This has a form inside it that your user can fill without going to the website. You can add radio buttons, ratings, dropdowns, NPS ratings, and more to collect data from users in email. But that's not all. We have several pre-made interactive widgets like Spin the Wheel, Quiz, Emoji Widget, Poll, and Calendly Widget to book meetings to engage users with unique email experiences. All this works because our emails can talk to APIs and fetch real-time data. This power can be used for many other use cases. For example, if you're an insurance provider, you can create an insurance calculator where the user enters a few numbers and then sees the calculated insurance premium from your website or from your server. The possibilities are endless. And now let's dive into creating such powerful emails in minutes with no code in MailMoto. When you open the MailMoto dashboard, you can access all the options for templates, campaigns, contacts, journeys, settings, and more on the left side here. To create a template, click on the template option. Next, click on New Template. This is our template library with many pre-made templates. You can edit one of these templates or simply build one from scratch. For this, select Blank Template. You can add different layouts, even a multi-column layout into the template. You can add basic elements like text, images, and buttons from here. Let's say you want to add an image. You can upload one here. You can change its size and other design factors. MailMoto takes care of email display on mobile screens too. You can stack blocks in a multi-column or place them side by side for mobile. You can even display images full size or scale down on mobile. You can add relevant personalization in the email from here. What's more, you can even personalize images for users using dynamic image URLs. For example, you can personalize the company logo based on the recipient's company. Now, I'll show you how to add interactive elements inside email. You can add different forms from here. You can start with a simple form, NPS form, a survey, or a lead gen form. You can also use one of our pre-made forms and customize it in minutes. All these questions can be edited, including their design. You can also add other interactive widgets like polls, NPS widget, quiz, spin the wheel, emoji rating, cart recovery widget, Calendly widget for meeting booking, and other forms here. You can also export form submissions to any platform or tool via CSV export, API, or third-party integrations like Zapier. You can always see the results of form submissions on the MailMoto dashboard, which we will discuss soon. To save time and effort, you can use Save Any Block in an email and use it in other email templates. For email clients that do not allow interactive AMP emails like Outlook or Apple Mail, MailMoto auto-creates an HTML fallback version. You can customize this HTML fallback by clicking here. This version contains a default link to the AMP page for your users to engage with. You can also edit this link and customize the button text to direct users to your own landing page. Once your email is ready, MailMoto offers template suggestions in email marketing best practices to make it even better. You can find this at the top here. Besides this is the preview option. Here you can preview how your template looks on desktop and mobile, both in AMP and HTML formats. You can also send a test email from here. Once your template is done, you can send it in a campaign from here.
or you can also use the campaign option later. For now, I will save the template and show you how to create a campaign. Select Campaign. Choose the template you want to send. Click Next. Add your subject line. Here you can A-B test multiple subject lines to check which one will work the best for you. Add pre-header text from name and other details. Choose the email ID you want to send your emails from. Click Next. Next, you have to choose your contact list. You can choose a saved list or you can upload a new CSV list. You can review your campaign details and template in this window. Finally, schedule it as per your need or send it right away. You can check out the performance of each of your campaigns in the Campaigns section. Here you can see metrics like sent, delivered, open clicks, submissions, bounces, unsubscribed, and blocked for each campaign you've sent. You can also see the email clients that the recipients have used to view the email, link performances if you had links, and a breakdown of AMP and HTML emails, plus a campaign summary, user data, form submissions, and insights are all in one place with an option to export in a CSV format. We also help you trigger interactive emails based on specific user actions or events on your website or app, CRM, or tools like Facebook ads. Say somebody fills a lead form on your Facebook ad. You can trigger an email automatically to them. Or if a contact's lead status changes from in progress to demo done in HubSpot, you can auto trigger a demo feedback email to them. You can also trigger emails using API or based on triggers from marketing tools like HubSpot, Segment, Mixpanel, Shopify, Customer.io, and many others. You can create automated email sequences using Journey. This allows you to send a set of emails one after another. You can trigger a journey by uploading CSV of contacts, setting up integrations, or using API or webhook. You can add delays between emails. You can also automate follow-up emails based on conditions like open, click, or form submissions of the previous email. Under Contact, you can upload contacts via CSV or sync them using various integrations. Then, if you want, you can create segments from these lists based on user property, imported events, or campaign activity to send targeted emails. For example, you can get a list of users that have not opened any of your campaigns in the last 30 days. You can add your email ID in the settings. Here, you can also configure your SMTP services and verify your DNS record. Once you do this, you can start sending HTML emails instantly. Also, you can fill out the whitelisting form to start the AMP whitelisting process. It usually takes three to five business days for email clients to approve your email IDs, and we will notify you as soon as it happens. MailMoto is integrated easily with your favorite tools and CRMs. We have a growing list of integrations for data export import, event-based email triggers, and interactive widgets. This brings me to the close of this video. I hope you can now create and send interactive emails from MailMoto. If you haven't tried MailMoto yet, you should sign up today. There's no limitations, no card required, and you can send 10,000 free emails every month. If you have any questions, do ping us at help at mailmoto.com. If you need help setting up your MailMoto account, we'll be happy to do so. That's all for now. See you around.